Okay, I made it up here to Clarksville Cemetery. Boy, has it changed since I first found this 40 some years ago. Now they got giant windmills all around. Uh, looks like they do take care of it. Grass is cut and all of that. Uh, we'll just look at one here. Look at that. Twin daughters apparently stillborn. That's too bad, 102 years ago. We're gonna go over this way. I got my squeaky orthotics. Wish I knew how to uh, <laughs> take care of that. Okay, well it seems like most of them are over here and I, and I bet there's a lot of them buried out here in this open spot they just don't have stones so this cemetery is established in 1835 Clarksville Cemetery and oh no we've had vandals up here uh, this is General Bartholomew Joseph Bartholomew, and boy, it's getting to the point you can't read it. It used to be real clear, and there used to be uh, a marker there uh, from the Battle of Tippy Canoe, and it, and it told all, all the facts about it. Here's his uh, Revolutionary War uh, marker, 18, 1766 to 1840, uh, placed, uh, placed by the Letitia Green Stevenson chapter. But yeah, oh, that makes me sad. Yeah, I mean, he died in 1848, so yeah, you know, if we're granted, that's doing pretty good. But it probably, you know, faces to the uh, to the weather. And over here, uh, this James Bigger, uh, he was 58 years old. He was uh, a soldier in uh, General Bartholomew's uh or company or whatever you want to call it and he was such a he loved his general so much that uh, when he died he wanted to be buried by him and he is so here's his stone it's not uh, in the ground anymore it used to be standing up so yeah same with this you know died in 1863 you can't see it anymore but boy that thing being gone off of Bartholomew's grave that really infuriates me but there's some uh, big stones here. I mean, we got a uh, sample here, very sample, you know, 1807 to 1863, and uh, Moses, 1802 to 1854. And we'll just kind of wander through, see some of the ones over here. There's a youngster, Virgil. It's only uh, 21 years old. Yeah, let's see. We'll go walking over here. Here's Helen Wallace, 1835 to 1847. So, boy, they've been gone a long time. Here's 1832, her husband. Uh, uh, 1832 to 1835. Man, that, uh, that's kind of weird. This is Helen. What's this over here? That says Helen Wallace Jr. That's, that's strange. Huh. Well, here's another George Wallace. Not the governor. 1802 to 1846. But here's uh, Elizabeth Hoyt, 1808 to 1844. But there's a lot of these that uh, they're so old they're just laying. There's a 14 year old that died in 1840. So here's 1851, was 63 years old, born in the 
1700s every time i see somebody born in the 1700s it just fascinates me like what could life have been you know back then uh there's uh one that was eight died in 1843 was 41 so yeah 1802 yeah, let's see what else is over here. It's been a while, like I say, since I've been up here. Let's see, this is the one, yeah, the veterans that are here. Boy, and this is even getting to the part where you can't hardly read it. Uh, young, you know, people, there's three of them born in the 1700s. So... Yeah, I don't know if you can see that or not. Some may or may not have stones. Uh, let's uh, let's see. What do we got here? Just hate to see these so old. Died in 1851. Here's one that was 15 years old. Hey, Hannah. She died in 18, wow, looks like 1816 was 42 years, 52 years old, wow. Alrighty, well, I'm not going to walk all the way back there, but uh, yeah, this is a very nice cemetery, and like I say, if you don't know where this cemetery is at, you're not, you're not going to find it. Uh, it's in between... Oh, I'll show you real quick. To, to get up here, you got to go down this long, long lane next to this house. And you got corn on both sides. I don't know if you can see that or not. You know, with my truck in the way. And right there where that grass is, is one big dip. So, alrighty guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, uh, please subscribe. Thanks. Bye-bye.